Electrum is a naturally occurring alloy of gold and silver, with trace amounts of copper and other metals. It has also been produced artificially, and is often known as green gold. The ancient Greeks called it gold or white gold, as opposed to refined gold. Its color ranges from pale to bright yellow, depending on the proportions of gold and silver. The gold content of naturally occurring electrum in modern western Anatolia ranges from 70% to 90%, in contrast to the 45 to 55% of gold in electrum used in ancient Lydian coinage of the same geographical area. This suggests that one reason for the invention of coinage in that area was to increase the profits from seigniorage by issuing currency with a lower gold content than the commonly circulating metal. See also debasement. Electrum was used as early as the 3rd millennium BCE in Old Kingdom of Egypt, sometimes as an exterior coating to the pyramidians atop ancient Egyptian pyramids and obelisks. It was also used in the making of ancient drinking vessels. The first metal coins ever made were of Electrum and date back to the end of the 7th century or the beginning of the 6th century BCE. For several decades, the medals awarded with the Nobel Prize have been made of gold-plated green gold. Topic. Etymology The name, Electrum, is the Latinized form of the Greek word electron, electron mentioned in the Odyssey referring to a metallic substance consisting of gold alloyed with silver. The same word was also used for the substance amber, likely because of the pale yellow color of certain varieties. It is from amber's electrostatic properties that the modern English words electron and electricity are derived. Electrum was often referred to as white gold in ancient times, but could be more accurately described as pale gold as it is usually pale yellow or yellowish white in color. The modern use of the term white gold usually concerns gold alloyed with any one or a combination of nickel, silver, platinum and palladium to produce a silver-colored gold. Topic. Composition Electrum consists primarily of gold and silver but is sometimes found with traces of platinum, copper, and other metals. The name is mostly applied informally to compositions between about 20-80% gold and 20-80% silver atoms, but these are strictly called gold or silver depending on the dominant element. Analysis of the composition of electrum in ancient Greek coinage dating from about 600 BCE shows that the gold content was about 55.5% in the coinage issued by Phocaea. In the early classical period, the gold content of electrum ranged from 46% in Phocaea to 43% in Mytilene. In later coinage from these areas, dating to 326 BCE, the gold content averaged 40% to 41%. In the Hellenistic period, electrum coins with a regularly decreasing proportion of gold were issued by the Carthaginians. In the later Eastern Roman Empire controlled from Constantinople, the purity of the gold coinage was reduced, and an alloy that can be called electrum began to be used. Topic. History Electrum is mentioned in an account of an expedition sent by Pharaoh Sahor of the 5th dynasty of Egypt. It is also discussed by Pliny the Elder in his Naturalis Historia. Electrum is also mentioned in the Hebrew Scriptures, whose prophet Ezekiel is said to have had a vision of Jehovah on a celestial chariot. Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 4 Topic. Early coinage The earliest known electrum coins, Lydian and East Greek coins found under the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, are currently dated to the last quarter of the 7th century BCE 625 BCE. 
Electrum is believed to have been used in coins c.600 BCE in Lydia during the reign of Aliades. Electrum was much better for coinage than gold, mostly because it was harder and more durable, but also because techniques for refining gold were not widespread at the time. The discrepancy between gold content of electrum from modern western Anatolia, 70 to 90%, and ancient Lydian coinage, 45 to 55%, suggests that the Lydians had already solved the refining technology for silver and were adding refined silver to the local native electrum some decades before introducing the pure silver coin cited below. In Lydia, electrum was minted into coins weighing 4.7 grams, 0.17 ounces, each valued at one third stator, meaning standard. Three of these coins with a weight of about 14.1 grams, 0.50 ounces totaled one stator, about one month's pay for a soldier. To complement the stator, fractions were made the trite third, the hecta sixth, and so forth, including one twenty fourth of a stator, and even down to one forty eighth and one ninety sixth of a stator. The 196th stator was only about 0.14 grams, 0.0049 ounces to 0.15 grams, 0.0053 ounces. Larger denominations, such as a one stator coin, were minted as well. Because of variation in the composition of electrum, it was difficult to determine the exact worth of each coin. Widespread trading was hampered by this problem, as the intrinsic value of each electrum coin could not be easily determined. These difficulties were eliminated circa 570 BCE when the Cresiads, coins of pure gold and silver, were introduced. However, electrum currency remained common until approximately 350 BCE. The simplest reason for this was that, because of the gold content, one 14.1 gram stator was worth as much as 10 14.1 gram silver pieces. Topic. See also Corinthian bronze, a highly prized alloy in antiquity, which may have contained electrum Hepatazone List of alloys Orichalcum, another distinct metal or alloy mentioned in texts from classical antiquity, later used to refer to brass. Panchaloha Shikudo a Japanese villain of gold and copper with a dark blue-purple patina Shibuichi, another Japanese alloy known for its patina Thakcha, an alloy of meteoric iron or thunderbolt iron Commonly used in Tibet. Tumbaga, a similar material, originating in pre-Columbian America.